Welcome to Small Lathe. This is a really, really short video on how to turn your Unimat Lathe, in my case Unimat SL1000, or Unimat DB200, doesn't matter, same thing, from a lathe into a mill. Let's get to it. First of all, let's get a higher view. Let's look at the right things we need to know. One, this is a locking pin. Take it out. Parallel pliers or any other means that won't mar this pin will do just fine. So the thing you see over there, this thing, is the locking screw. This locks the spindle to the base and makes sure it's not going to start changing angle. Okay? So once you unlock it, it's not going to do that anymore. So this means you lose concentricity at the very same second. So we'll have to readjust that with a digital indicator or an indicator of any sort just to make sure that. Now you can see I can turn this now at any angle I like and this is actually the method of turning angles or cones on the Unimat lathe. But if you take out, not completely out, but about half an inch out, 12 millimeters out, you can take out the spindle. And there we go. That is the spindle. So we have the base exposed. Always keep it clean. I always oil it before I do lock it back and so on. I know some grit and grime and stuff like that going to get in there. And you will need this. This is the head attachment. So basically this goes. This will hold the spindle from now on. And this mounts like that. You cannot position it anywhere you like because there's a cavity for a set screw, for that set screw, specifically speaking. So you have to adjust for that. And now once I lock it, you can see it's turning a bit to the right angle. I'm locking it tight. And that's, that's about it. That's all the tightening you need. Don't overdo it. Now this, on the other hand, can be released and adjusted. It has a similar screw and all I need to do now is take my spindle and just put it in there. Make sure of course there is nothing on the surface, everything is nice and clean and just put it in there. That's all there is to it. Now, this screw allows you to do two things actually. It allows you to turn your mill head at any angle you want and lock it. And to turn it, you need this screw. Now, I'm going to lock it more or less on the mark here. So you can see there's a mark here, but that doesn't tell you you're actually at 90 degree to the base of the lathe or the mill now. What you need to do is you need to take out your chuck, which in this case doesn't want to come out. <laughs> Happens after intense turning. And you need the faceplate. This is the faceplate. Thread it on. Now. This is the crucial part. Now that I've threaded it on, so you need to unlock this screw which allows you to tilt the head and lower it and raise it. And you lower it. You lower it until it sits on the carriage. Now you unlock the lead screw and this is actually your method of tramming. This is released, it's sitting nice and flush on the carriage and now I lock, let me show you that. I'm holding the spindle, making sure it's sitting nice and flush on the bed of the carriage and then I'm locking this screw. Now you're trammed, now you're sitting at 90 degree angle to the bed of the lathe. That's all there is to it. 
now all I got to do is this was already unlocked I'll just release it a bit further raise it to the height I need to do my work and all I need to do now is install the base which is the machining plate you use over here I've got two locking screws you just put these in there Usually it helps to guide these in. There we go. go. One in, second in. And I usually stop when I get to the first one and lock these. Already got a stubby one and it's easy to lock with it or just, just lock like that. And that's all there is to it. Now, you want to make sure this plate is actually flat al running along the X axis. So, while you're doing that, release those a bit. Tighten a bit just one of these. And make sure it's sitting. You're pushing both of these against the carriage T slot. And just lock the second one now this is not perfect by far not perfect but it's sort of a ballpark if you like to call it if you want to make sure yep you'll need an indicator same goes for this and you're done the reverse process is identically reversed have a sweet day thanks for watching bye bye